Hello, everybody. I'm Linda. I'm the old bird with Gotta Be Handmade. You know, this summer, I said I was going to help plus-size girls learn how to sew and create a beautiful blouse that is easy peasy. Well, you had your first class. I taught you how to choose your fabric. I taught you how to read the back of the pattern. I taught you how to find out how to care for the fabric. So in this episode, we're going to take the first step right before we cut out our blouse and get it sewn together. Now today, you're in my laundry room. My laundry room is very small. I have one of my paintings on the wall and my machines are here. So it's very small, but that's why I decided to do it on video as opposed to live. Let me share with you what our next step is. Now, young ladies, you've had an opportunity to get your parents to purchase you your fabric. You should have your fabric. You should have your uh, blouse pattern. You should have your um, elastic. And you should have your thread, you should have your scissors, you should have everything ready that I taught, taught you that, that you would need on the back of your pattern. So you, you should have ev everything and you should be ready to go. Now this is what we are to do next. And forgive the old bird, I've been outside and I've been doing a lot today. But this is what we should do. Now here is my fabric. I purchased my fabric as well. And this is my fabric. And I love it. This is a deep, deep orange uh, color. And orange and peach is my favorite color. This is my fabric. And I have the uh, correct amount that was called for on the back of the pattern in my size. Now look, here's the first thing we need to do. Remove the label from your fabric. When you purchased your fabric, the person that cut the fabric put a label on it telling you how many yards it was and the price sometimes is on that label. So take that little label like receipt off of the fabric. Remove it because the very first thing that we have to do is wash the fabric. Now let me tell you why. You should wash your fabric first prior to cutting it out because sometimes fabric shrinks and when you wash it the first time it will shrink um, and that's what you want it to do. You want to have it to shrink prior to cutting it out prior to making it because if you wait and make your blouse and then the first time you wash your blouse you know what it's going to shrink and it's not going to be uh the right size for your body so you need to wash your fabric first now remember there's a video i told you how to read the um boat and it uh, tells you on the boat how to launder your fabric and that's what we're going to do now let me move my camera over. Those are my cleaning supplies. And this is my washer and dryer. This is my fabric. And I'm going to put my fabric in my machine. And look, don't add anything like detergent. Don't add any bleaches. Don't add any fabric softeners. Don't add any of that to your fab, uh, fabric. Open your fabric out. Open it up. Open your fabric. And we're going to put the fabric in the washing machine. Now, you may need some help with this from your mom, but you should be able to do it with no problem. If you read the boat like I taught you, you know how to launder this fabric. So, I have my fabric in the washer. I'm going to put my machine on a small load and my fabric 
is in cold water. Now, the laundering instructions on the fabric said that I could use um, warm water or cold water. So I'm going to use cold water. And I'm going to turn it on. And I want it to wash on the regular cycle. But I only want it to wash six minutes. And that's just long enough to wash out any chemicals that may be in the fabric because my fabric is cotton as well as any shrinkage. It should wash it right out. Now, when this finishes, I'm going to put it in the dryer on a delicate cycle and I'm going to um, not use any heat. I'm going to dry my fabric with air and my fabric will be ready for cutting. So let me know if you have any questions about washing your fabric prior to us cutting it out and tomorrow we should be ready to cut out our fabric or at least get our pattern cut out because you see that's the next step so i'm gonna come back on and hopefully i will be able to come on live and we are going to cut out our pattern got your pattern it's gonna be exciting as soon as we get our fabric ready get our pattern ready we'll be ready to roll and it only takes a little time to make this blouse. So I'll see you on the next video. And look, if you have any questions, just ask the old bird. And I'll do my best to answer where you won't have any problems making this blouse. Cause you know, for the best, it's just gotta be handmade. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye bye.